morning you guys welcome back to another video i'm so excited because it is finally the fall season which means today we are doing my fall reset i i'm just about to get ready and head out because i want to do some fall decor shopping i really don't have like a ton of fall things so i want to head out and do that but also we need to do a fridge reset and overall just like bring in the fall season do a little bit of a home reset yeah that's kind of what we are up to today but i'm about to get ready do my makeup so we can head out and go do that i've already been eyeing a few fall pieces and i so badly wanted to buy them earlier but i was like nessa just hold off just wait you can wait and now it's like mid september which i feel like is the perfect time to finally get into the fall season i was savoring the final last few weeks of summer because there was definitely a heat wave in Toronto but now that that's over it's like nice and cool and crisp in the mornings like 10 11 degrees by the afternoon it's still like 20 and beautiful but it definitely feels more like fall and so I feel like we're ready but with it being fall I definitely have been changing up my routines a little bit and a somewhat newer recent addition to my skincare routine which you guys would have seen this morning is Osea's plumping hydrating duo I had been looking for a new cleanser and hyaluronic acid which is this is Osea's ocean cleanser and then their hyaluronic C serum the ocean cleanser gently exfoliates and unclogs pores without stripping the skin and for someone who has pretty sensitive skin that was super important for me because my skin easily gets red and inflamed so whenever i'm looking for products things that protect your moisture barrier and also just gently exfoliate it also delivers mineral rich hydration so really boosting that hydration and plumpness of your skin as well and then the hyaluronic c serum is proven to help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines and also provides instant hydration and overall delivers like a firm lifted look for your skin and face not only is osea female founded but all of their products are also clean vegan and cruelty free and based from seaweed ingredients so super natural and clean for your skin all of the products also smell amazing they have such a fresh scent like it's not overwhelmingly perfumed or just fragrant but they just feel and smell so clean and fresh also I love that the cleanser and hyaluronic C serum come in a duo which saves you a bit of money so you're getting a $136 value for $110 but you guys can also for a limited time use my code Vanessa for an additional 10% off I will leave all the links down in the description box below for you guys to go check out but I just know you are going to love Osea not only do they have skincare but they also have have body care if you've been looking for some more natural body care products as well but I'm gonna do a little bit of light sort of autumnal fall makeup now before we head out and go do some decor shopping I'm just thinking something light and glowy basically the same as my everyday routine but like a little bit more orangey and peachy I feel like tones in the blush and maybe a little bit of eyeshadow or something that just feels a little more fall Here's the full little fall look. I'm going for my Birkenstock clogs today and then a little cropped sweater, oversized baggy jeans. And I ended up putting a claw clip in just because I feel like it suited my hair today better. But I'm gonna grab a purse and then we are heading out.
I do I need this? No, but it's so cute. So is this one a small jar? Mm. back for my little fall shopping outing let's do a grocery haul first because honestly none of my resets are complete without a grocery haul so fall cannot be any different let me show you guys all of the groceries that I picked up and some are definitely very fall themed so we don't have a huge grocery haul going on today but definitely did do a little reset let's start with the fall things first up i picked up the tazo chai concentrate this is what starbucks use and i have been using this for the past few years but mind you i don't think i got it last year but i figured chai is very autumnal and i just i love a good dirty chai and then I also picked up this to try, and it's the Silk Pumpkin Spice Almond Dairy-Free Creamer. I got something similar to this at Christmas time. It was like a peppermint mocha, and you don't go through it very quickly because you just need like the tiniest splash. So I thought I'd try the pumpkin spice one. Picked up a tomato, and then I picked up a bunch of little baby white pumpkins. I think I'm gonna like put these around as decor because they are just so cute. And then I also got a butternut squash. I am a sucker for butternut squash soup and it is now soup season. So got that, got some tofu, mangoes, bananas, some fresh Ontario carrots. These look so good. I'm so excited to either make like carrot soup or stir fries. These just look delicious. Some onions, cherry tomatoes, cucumber. And then for protein this week, I got a rainbow trout, chicken, and then just some spinach. Moving on to what is arguably the better half of this haul. I stopped in Joe Fresh hoping to find some Ugg Tasman dupes because last year that's where I got my regular mini Ugg dupes, which they had again. And they actually had shorter ones than what I have. So I was very tempted to get just another pair of dupes because my ones from last year, they were $35 and they held up so well. Like I still have them for this season and they're in perfect condition but I couldn't reason getting almost an identical pair. I really, really wanted the slipper style, which they had like Ugg style slippers without the heel. I was like, those really are just house slippers, so I couldn't reason it. But we did get a good amount of stuff at HomeSense and Marshalls. I didn't get everything that I wanted to get. There was a few more like little pumpkin-y things. I just couldn't find ones that I loved, but let's go through what i got first up we have a pumpkin caramel syrup they didn't have just a regular pumpkin syrup but i got this sugar-free pumpkin because if you know me you know i love making at-home lattes and as much as i do love getting the odd latte out like obviously i went and got my pumpkin cream cold foam cold brew today but more typically i'm just an at-home coffee gal and i want to be able to make at-home pumpkin spice lattes so i thought this was perfect i also don't love super sweet syrups so i'm looking forward to trying this one because it's sugar-free i honestly didn't read the ingredients and i'm kind of going i hope it doesn't have aspartame or like any of the bad ingredients now i'll read this and then decide if i want to keep it but regardless i if i return this i'll be finding another pumpkin syrup the next thing is I'm adding to my fall mug collection. I think I only have one other fall mug and it has a pumpkin outline on it. So I thought this one went really well. It just says morning pumpkin on it with a little bit of orange and a little baby pumpkin. My grandpa always calls me pumpkin, so I thought this was just too cute. And none of the other mugs were really vibing with me. I wanted one that looked like a pumpkin, but all the ones that did had like writing on them. So. This is what I went with. I also got some new tea towels and I went for one with a floral pattern that still has these autumnal colors going on because I thought I could still use this more all year round and they're just more interchangeable rather than straight fall leaves or pumpkins. It just has kind of a hint of autumn, but there's nothing other than the color that really screams fall. So I wanted to get something that I can kind of use all year round versus everything else is like very fall. The next thing is a little pumpkin hand soap. I thought this was too cute and I couldn't resist because 
not only is it filled with soap so a great i just bought a new soap but also i can refill it with whatever soap i buy in the future and keep it for every year so i love this the next thing i got similar to last year i got a pumpkin candle and they had way more pumpkin candles this year the one that i got last year was like the only one that they had which i actually still have a little bit of it left this is the one that i got last year still has a little bit of candle left in there it was like the only pumpkin shaped candle that had like a lid at home sense at all and this year they had so many different ones i just love that once the candle's done you can reuse them again but this is another little pumpkin candle smells so good but then also doubles as pumpkin decor and for the most part you can kind of see i went with like the orangey theme i kind of wanted to stay neutral at the same time i do love the autumnal colors because i also have a burnt rusty orange duvet cover that kind of goes with all the colors of the things that i got and i'm like i might as well i already have that bright orange thing that we're just gonna play into that color. The next thing that I got, I was really looking for some pumpkin pillows and all the ones were either like not orange or not plain, they were like plaid and I didn't love them, but I did find this one, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping, but I really liked the burnt orange and like it's just squishy and cute. I just don't love this because it's like hard and not like a pillow but otherwise also picked up this giant gray one which this was more what i was looking for and then hoped to get like some smaller ones to go with it but this was the only one that i found that i actually really liked it's just plain gray and then has like a little knob at the top the last thing that i picked up alan kind of convinced me to get but it's this little guy and he says boo and i just thought it was so cute and I can put like a candle or something inside him. I'm like, this is my little hint of Halloween. I'm not the biggest Halloween gal, but I just thought that he was so cute. And I'm like, I can't, I can't pass this up. Alan was like, you need it. And I was like, fine, fine. You've convinced me. Like you just needed to tell me that I need it. So I got it. It just says boo and it's a little ghost. But yeah, I'm thinking of putting like a candle or something inside it just as a little bit more decor. But that is everything that I got. So now is the fun part and I'm gonna throw on some more comfy pants, get out of these jeans and we're gonna decorate my apartment. decor is done i definitely feel like my bedroom is the most fall-esque right now when the living room and kitchen are kind of giving little hints of fall which i really like how it turned out i do wish i had a few more little pumpkin pillows for the couch so i might end up hunting like throughout september and october for a few more of those but overall i'm really happy with how everything turned out morning I'm going to attempt to make some sort of pumpkin dirty chai situation I feel like it's probably going to take me a few times to find and make the exact recipe that I really like because I don't love a super sweet morning coffee but we have the ingredients I just have to kind of decide if I want to do like both the pumpkin creamer and the pumpkin syrup with the chai because the chai is already pretty sweet and then like how much of each 
I want to do. So I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to start by making my espresso. I always get asked which espresso machine I have. And I have the Breville Cafe Roma. I've had it for almost four years now. I definitely want to upgrade at some point, but she is the cheapest Breville you can get. I think it's like $150, $200 not anything crazy she does the job but is slowly giving out on me i would like to upgrade her at some point but for now she does the job now that i have my espresso which also if you don't have an espresso machine just a regular coffee works as well and you can do a cafe misto but I think I'm gonna start with half chai and half milk. And then I'm gonna do a really small splash of the little pumpkin creamer. And then I'm just gonna do the smallest drizzle of the pumpkin caramel syrup so that it's not too sweet. Time for the taste test now. Let's see how this little concoction turned out. Okay, I definitely made it a little bit too sweet. I think I will do way less chai next time. But it definitely is very pumpkin-y chai but i think more milk less chai and then go from there in terms of if i need to do less of the pumpkin creamer or less syrup still really good it's just way too sweet for me and i know that's mainly coming from the chai but i wanted to sit down and do a little bit of hashtag 90 grow challenge catch up and chat with you guys and just like a progress update and update you on how that's going because just over halfway done the challenge so i thought it would be a good idea to sit down and do that now before we get started this sweatsuit is from elwood clothing i got it recently but i've been living in it i'm literally obsessed it is the perfect combination of like cozy but not too cozy because it is like a brushed terry cloth so I definitely think I'm going to have to get another one of these sweatsuits just because I have literally been living in it. But let's go over how the challenge has been going so far. We are almost done month two, which is crazy to me. And honestly, I haven't been super strict with myself in this challenge because really it was trying to pull me out of a funk and like trying to get myself back and get back on a good daily routine which i feel like i really have and i've slowly felt myself definitely like getting more comfortable in my daily routine settling in to life and overall just not feeling like as lost and confused and upset so which was the main priority of this challenge it wasn't like a you have to do this every single day or if you don't you reset to day one it was more so just be as consistent as possible and like looking back on my daily trackers definitely what has been the least consistent has been reading 15 pages a day which i thought i would be more consistent at and then no phone one hour before sleep i think i've more so been doing like 30 minutes before sleep i'm really good at not being on my phone if i'm reading before bed if not, it's normally like put my phone away, brush my teeth, do my skincare, and then go to sleep. So definitely still need some improvement with that. Everything else I feel like I've been way more on top of. 15 minutes of planning, 15 minutes of cleaning and tidying. Those are two things that I definitely have picked up a lot more of in the last almost two months. Same with the 45 minutes of movement per day. I feel like, especially because it was kind of the end of summer, I was definitely out and about a lot, but also way more consistent with my minimum four times a week in the gym. I'm really proud of myself for that, but I definitely want to keep it up as we get into October and it gets a little bit cooler. I know I won't be outside as much and just getting as much of that like daily movement in. So that's definitely a habit that I need to stay on top of myself for, especially as we get into the colder months and it just gets 
easier to want to go plop on the couch and like cozy up with a blanket and a book. I also have been really good with the weekly challenges, which I'm really happy for. I've been cooking way more and trying new recipes and just like getting back into that, which makes me really happy. And also going out and having like one non-work date a week. I've really been making that a priority as well, which I think really helps me find a good work-life balance and just getting out of the house that isn't just for work but is really just to spend time with loved ones or friends so i'm glad i've been staying up on that i think for these last just over 30 days my priority definitely is going to be maintaining the movement and then because we're moving into month three which is the align month and finding what works and what doesn't i don't think i tried a ton of new things or got back on old hobbies in month two so I definitely want to sit down and maybe do some drawing or writing I feel like those were two things that I wanted to get back into a little bit in month two that never really happened for those of you that are newer around here I throughout my life and throughout my childhood I loved creative writing I've actually written a few novels and it's something that I really wanted to get back into just for myself as well as I grew up drawing and painting and overall just doing art a ton. So I think I want to take some time in October and sit down and do some sketching and just get back into that a little bit as well. But that is kind of my overview of how the challenge has been going for me so far. I've loved chatting in the group chat about how you guys are enjoying your challenge and what your struggles and your successes have been as well. I think it's just another great way that I get to connect with you guys. If you're not in the group chat, or if you are in the group chat and you've been doing the challenge as well, let me know in the comments just like one struggle and one success. Like one thing you've been finding hard and one thing that you've kind of discovered about yourself or excelled at throughout the challenge so far. I'd love to hear just how you guys have been keeping up with it and doing that as well. For the rest of the day, it is kind of just a slow, cozy Sunday. It's not super gloomy, but it's also not super bright out. I think at some point today I want to make some soup, maybe some like just chicken, carrot, I don't know, something soup because the butternut squash that I bought yesterday is just not ready yet. And then so. maybe get some reading in today because like I said, definitely one of the things I've been struggling with is reading the 15 pages, especially when I get busy or I'm just too tired in the evening. I just don't read as much but getting more consistent with that every single day i've still been pretty good i feel like three to four times a week back on the reading every day that is a big goal for the rest of the challenge as well um but i think that's kind of the plan for today all right it is a bit later than i originally was planning on making dinner but i'm thinking for this soup because i bought that lentil pea mix not that long ago i'm just gonna do like a simple chicken broth soup with like carrots and onions and throw in some spices and this first soup of the season is just gonna be pretty simple and i think i'm just gonna kind of make it up as i go but this is my first time using my new my new our place pot i had another one and i liked this color better but i absolutely love this best thing for soup season because it's so big and it holds so much also soup is just like such a great meal prep meal because you can make so much of it and it doesn't take any more effort than it would to make like one portion. So typically if I don't have leftover chicken, I will boil chicken breasts for soup. I know this probably looks really weird, but there was just some olive oil and water in the bottom and then seasoning on top and then put it on high until it comes to a boil and then close and cover for a simmer and it creates kind of like crock pot chicken, like very tender, easy to shred chicken that's perfect for like soup or like salads and just easy shredded chicken. 